Before you buy your first RFID reader, stop and please watch this video because I could save you thousands of dollars. Welcome back to RFID Made Simple. Today's video is going to focus on a mistake that I've seen so many companies and customers make when they go to purchase their RFID reader. The topic is polarization or polarity. So what many people don't understand about an RFID reader or in this case the actual antenna that's either attached to the RFID reader or the antenna that you plug into a fixed reader, there is a certain polarity to that antenna. So what is polarization or polarity? Polarity is simply the radiation pattern that is transmitting from the RFID antenna. And there are two main types that you need to be aware of before you purchase your RFID reader. There's linear polarization and circular polarization. So I mentioned the two types, linear and circular polarization, but what is the difference? Linear polarization means that the RFID antenna is transmitting the RFID signal on a single plane. In other words, it's linear, so it's either horizontal or vertical transmitting out of the antenna. So how does that affect the performance of the reader when you're going to read your RFID tags? Well, let's take a look at an RFID inlay to better understand how the performance will be affected. This is a common RFID inlay that you would find in a UHF RFID system. We can see that this antenna design is a symmetrical dipole type antenna. So when, you, when we consider a linear polarized antenna, if the linear polarized antenna is reading on this plane, we can see that it's going to pick up this RFID antenna just fine. However, if the RFID inlay is rotated 90 degrees and we're trying to read it with a horizontal linear polarized antenna, the performance of that read is going to significantly drop down, sometimes to a few centimeters. So how can you avoid something like this? Well, let's look at the other type of polarization, circular polarization. Now there are two types that you'll find when you look at the specs of an RFID reader antenna. You may see RHCP or LHCP, which that stands for right-hand circular polarization or left-hand circular polarization. Now there's two types, and I may, I may get this backwards facing the camera, but right-handed circular polarization would be the antenna is transmitting in a clockwise rotation out of the antenna, or left hand would be the counterclockwise. So what does that do? Well, now if the RFID inlay is oriented this way, the circular polarization will pick it up just fine. And if you rotate it, it's still going to pick it up because of the polarization pattern that's outputting from the RFID reader. Now you're probably asking, why would I ever use a linear polarization or a linear polarized antenna when a circular polarized antenna can pick up any orientation of my inlay? Well, the answer comes down to read distance. Linear polarized antennas, because it's only outputting the power on one singular plane, it can read RFID tags from a greater distance away because the power output from the reader only has to focus on one plane of transmission. Whereas a circular polarized antenna is operating in two planes in that circular polarization, which takes more power to output across two different planes. So in this case, you aren't able to read tags from as far a distance as you would with a linear polarized antenna. A good rule of thumb is a linear polarized antenna can read about two times the distance of a circular polarized antenna. Now that's just a rule of thumb. There's different gains and other variables that take, you have to take into account, but that's just a rule of thumb. So when consider purchasing your first RFID reader and antenna, 
make sure you understand how you're going to read your RFID tags. If you can control the orientation of your RFID tags, then a linear polarized antenna may be sufficient for you, especially if it allows you to read those tags from a further distance away. However, if you're not gonna be able to control that orientation, a circular polarized antenna may be beneficial. Thanks for joining me on this week's episode of RFID Made Simple. Make sure you leave some comments below on what other RFID concepts you want made simple.